All right, let's chat and play some Counter-Strike. Now today I'm gonna to be doing things a little bit differently. For starters, I am going to be playing and talking at the same time, which is something that I typically haven't done. And secondly, I'm going to be having more of a rant than anything else. Rant? Rant. Rant or rant? Oh no, I have no idea. I'm gonna go with rant. So today's rant is gonna be about Apple Music. And if you don't know, I am actually a pretty big fan of what Apple do. I, I like a lot of their products. Sadly, Apple Music is not one of those products. I think Apple Music as a department of Apple is pretty disgraceful actually, and I don't think it really represents the Apple that I know and love. So, let's start at the beginning. Apple Music as a streaming service. Let's be honest, Apple totally missed the boat on this one. They sat around milking their cash cow, which was iTunes, for far too long before they realized, wait a minute, this whole streaming thing is starting to take off. Maybe we need a product that sits in that market. They basically had to scramble around looking for a company to acquire that would help them to leapfrog themselves into the industry. And they stumbled across Beats. Now, let's be honest, everyone was pretty shocked when they did acquire Beats. Everyone was wondering what they'd do with their hardware. And to be honest, no one really saw them as a good fit for one another. I mean, the cultures of the company that we knew were just so totally different. And now it has become quite obvious why. They needed the industry contacts. They didn't want Beats as a company, they just wanted the people that worked at Beats to help them make some record deals and get themselves into the music streaming industry. And now they're looking to do the same thing with Tidal apparently, where Tidal has nothing that Apple need except for those contacts in the music industry. They want the exclusive deals, right? If you remember the whole Taylor Swift fiasco, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, a month or two before Apple Music actually came to fruition, Taylor Swift removed all of her music from Spotify and all the other music streaming services. That was like a pretty shocking move at the time. I believe she went quite public about it and wrote about how bad music streaming services were for the artists and how she was not wanting to be a part of it. Ah, damn it. And if you remember, when Apple Music was first announced, they had a three month trial period where all of their customers received three months free trial. And Apple, ah. Oh, why won't that guy die? And Apple basically said that no artists were going to be paid during this three month free trial because they weren't charging their customers so no one was making any money. And a lot of indie artists complain about this because basically they needed the money to stay alive. Apple didn't seem to care at this point. You know, a lot of indie artists were speaking out and then along came Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift wrote an open letter to Apple telling them, look, it's unfair that you're doing this and you need to be more respectful of the artists on your platform. And so Apple listened. Apple changed their policy and were going to fork out of their own pocket money to the artists so that they could still offer this three months of free streaming but still pay the artists. And remember, at this time, Taylor Swift had none of her music on any other streaming service and she wasn't looking to go into Apple. So why did she care? Well, about a week after this kind of feud where Apple basically succumbed to Taylor Swift's requests, Taylor Swift actually said, all right, I will put all of my music onto Apple Music because, you know, they understand the artist, you know, they respect the artist. What a crock of shit. A few months later and Taylor Swift is now making ads for Apple and she has her content exclusively on Apple Music. The whole thing was just so planned and scripted, it was an absolute joke. And to be honest, it made me lose a lot of respect for both Taylor and Apple. And finally, we have the Apple Music app itself. And Apple screwed up big time here. I mean, we all know they were scrambling for a solution to get into the music streaming industry and Apple Music was an afterthought. It was slapped on the top of iTunes. It didn't really work. It was one of the most confusing navigation systems and apps that Apple have ever built on top of one of the worst products that they have, iTunes. Why you would build a music streaming service on top of something that isn't a music streaming service is beyond me. I mean, the two are kind of mutually exclusive and they're trying to bundle them all together just give up on itunes apple if you want to do music streaming services then then do it but don't have your fingers in both pies but that's not even the worst part the worst part about apple music the app or the product itself was that they didn't change anything for so long i mean i joined apple music at the beginning during the three months free trial 
and look, I thought it was shit, but I had hopes that Apple would fix it, that they would visit these problematic areas that people were talking about and they didn't. It stayed the same for three months. There was maybe one update within those three months, but those were just some, you know, rudimentary bug fixes and whatnot. And a year later, and we finally, we finally got some fixes. To be honest, in today's day and age, that is way too slow. It took them a year to realize that the fundamental navigation system of Apple Music was shit. A year, an entire year. But the problem is still there. The problem is that they have slapped the streaming service on top of iTunes. Apple just needs to bite the bullet on this one and split Apple Music out as a separate app and leave iTunes alone. If people wanna use iTunes, that's fine. But don't force everyone to use some amalgamation of these two products because it's not working. All right, those are my thoughts on Apple Music. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below and let me know what you thought about today's video in general. If you have any feedback, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and hit that like button if you like today's video. Thanks and I'll see you guys next time.